In Court on TKOA Television is brought to you in part by Campbell Bonding Company. Even the best of us make mistakes, so when trouble finds you, trust Campbell Bonding Company to help you through what can be a confusing and sometimes frightening experience. Jim, Robert, and Cole Campbell work as a family to offer your family understanding and compassion during a very difficult time. Campbell Bonding Company can help get your family back together quickly and confidentially. And in every step of the process, they're there for you. In times of trouble, let their family help your family. Campbell Bonding Company, 870-741-1138. Cases 2018-312-2019-9, Stephanie Crumley, I'm directing that she'll be brought over for the afternoon session of court. <coughs> and also for 2016-50, State of Arkansas versus Teresa Harris, she'll be brought over for the afternoon session of court. 2019-186, State of Arkansas versus Andrea McGee. Good morning, Your Honor. Good morning. reflects that Mr. Burnett was appointed on this case on uh, April 26th. Uh, the, case, the charges are forgery in the second degree, a class C felony and theft by receiving class A misdemeanor. On those charges, uh, how's the defendant now plead? Not guilty, Your Honor. Is it okay? I'm just signing up. This case is on the Division Four docket and will be set for trial the week of September 3rd with a reappearance ordered for uh, August 2nd. Bond is set at $10,000 in this case, cash or pro. Uh, anything else to take up? Not at this time, Your Honor. <coughs> Pardon? May I speak? Yes, you may. I'm sorry. Um, I uh, am on a 30-day misdemeanor commit, and after that period, um, if I could get my bond reducted to at least 7500 I could get out and go back to work. My boss is holding my job, but I, I, like I said, I've still got a few weeks on a 30-day commit. After after I do the 30-day commit, you know, I've been here a month already, and I've never failed to appear in your court, sir. Mr. Ray, do you know anything about her circumstances? Where would you be? Where would you be living if you were bonded out? Uh, 
I, I would be living at my home at 507 North 3rd Street, Your Honor. I've, I've lived in this area all my life. I'm 35 years old. I've never missed your court. I've always lived here in Harrison. Okay. Judge, just for the court's information, I don't know if she's missed in this court, but she's got, I mean, a whole slew of FTAs out of the district court. Um, and I know I handled several cases with her in Carroll County. I can't remember off the top of my head whether there were. I saw she was a habitual <coughs> offender or charged as an habitual offender. She's All got right. a pretty lengthy history. At this time, I'm going to leave the bond at $10,000 uh, where it's already set. That'll be the bond. You may be excused. Thank you. 2018-332, State of Arkansas versus Angela McGuire. Good morning, Your Honor. Good morning. This case is on, scheduled for trial the week of um, June 3rd. Uh, this was a final hearing date that was scheduled, May 3rd, here today. Where do we stand on this case, or is Mr. Burnett? Okay. Your Honor, I believe the state has extended an offer to Mr. Burnett. I'm going to put, put her down to reappear on May 31st. All right, you may be excused. I get a bond, Your Honor, because I was in rehab and I tried to stand when I found I was fixing to get custody of my child. And I came to turn myself in because I found out I had a warrant. And I'd like to continue my rehab in the SWS program. It's court ordered by DHS. <coughs> I just want to go back to my rehab. When did, when did you go into that rehab program? <coughs> And why didn't uh, you why didn't you provide some information to the court? I did. I gave them all they got copies of everything. Who did? My public defender does. <clears throat> Judge, I do recall on the day of the FTA the public defender's office reported they didn't know where she was. May I approach your honor? Mm-hmm. The documentation that you've handed me does indicate that uh, she was in rehab and had given advance notice of it to the public defender's office. Uh, at least that's the way I read that, and, and uh, was was actually released on the date that uh, and, and graduated from the program on the day or completed the program. I guess is the proper way to say it on the date that she failed to appear in court. Uh, on that basis, the court's going to, uh, what, what was the bond previously involved in this? Because I've got her on a no bond hold now. But based on that documentation, she's 
see if I can find this. <coughs> Ms. McGuire, where will you be staying? That rehabilitation program uh, indicates that you completed the program on March 8th. Yeah, but I'm in the SWS program after I finished the residential, I went into the SWS program. I don't know what the SWS program is. It's uh, for women that have children, I and I have 90 days more to do in that. I see. Your Honor, I believe the well, what, you, what you need to do, and I'm telling you right now, is that, that you have a criminal charge on the docket. You are set for trial June 3rd. Yes. And until you get that straight with this court, you need to be here on June 3rd ready to go to trial. And you're going to have, when Mr. Burnett gets back, you need to get in touch with him and, and you know, work all these details out. If, yes, if you're expecting to go back to uh, a rehab program, uh, that does not take priority over the court scheduling. Because you still have pending charges on this docket and they're set for trial uh, the week of June 3rd. Now, what that means is that you need to get with your attorney, you need to talk this through with him uh, and get him to clear it with the court if we're going to set a different trial date or, or move the case, you know, the case out. But all that has to be arranged through your attorney uh, before you start back into to a program. Uh, I'm, I, I, I have no objection to you being in a program, but also we're not, unless you get prior approval, we're not going to do anything uh, about changing that trial day. Okay? So what, what you need to do is, is, is uh, work through your attorney. That's part of what your attorney is there for, not just to be there with you at trial, but work through it and, and get the... Uh, Mr. Campbell, do you do you all have uh, did did you have the bond on this this woman? This is uh, Angela McGuire. Yeah, yeah I think so. I'm still on the wrong All right. John, I believe she had a thirty-five hundred dollar bond. Robert, what do you remember about her bond that? She didn't show up in court on March 8th, and, right. and we issued an alias warrant. Yes, sir. I've now received some information that would indicate that, that, the, uh, that the fact that she was going to a rehabilitation program was, was sent to the public defender's office, and for whatever reason, it, it didn't get it disclosed on M March 8th. That was where she was, which is why yeah. I issued an alias warrant. Yes, sir. I've now been shown that... that there was advance notice of that. It just didn't get told to the court. Okay. Because of that, I'm I'm willing to reinstate her bond. Uh, what what was the bond that she had? If you're particularly if you're willing to stay on it, that'd be fine. Um, I'd have to look, Your Honor. I think it was maybe ten thousand or five thousand. I'm not really sure. You thought it was thirty-five hundred? Thirty-five hundred, sir. Thirty-five hundred. Okay. All right. Well, I'll reinstate that $3,500 bond, uh, and and uh, uh, you know she's subject to release on bond. But Miss McGuire, your next appearance in court is now for May 31st, and you need to be here on May 31st. And in the meantime, as soon as possible, you need to get in touch with Mr. Burnett, uh, and and uh, set an appointment and get in to see him so that so that. You, you can get these matters worked out. All right? Yes. All right. Yes. Thank you. You may be excused. <laughs>
When you support a locally owned pharmacy, you're contributing to the growth of a community. The dollars you spend stay right here to support our local community. Hi, I'm Tara Wilmot, and as a HealthMart pharmacist, I have a crucial commitment to our community because just like you, I support our community. All HealthMart pharmacies are locally owned, just like our HealthMart here in Harrison. Sam Alexander Pharmacy on the Square in downtown Harrison. HealthMart, caring for you and about you. Two thousand eighteen three ninety two State of Arkansas versus Tara McKinney. Good morning, Your Honor. Good morning. This case is set for trial the week of uh, July twenty second, and today's date was supposed to be a final uh, final hearing. Do we have a, uh, was there an alias warrant? Oh, Judge, it looks like it from March 22nd. And I still have it was, discovery it, it was in my issued file. for November, November 9th, there was an alias warrant issued. And then another one on March 22nd. Yes, Yes, you're right. <clears throat> and that warrant was served on April twenty fifth. Miss uh, Miss McKinney, have you made any arrangements uh, for a representation of an attorney? Uh, Your Honor, I still need to talk to Philip Moon. Have you talked to him before? Yes. Did you hire him? Uh, no, I need to go and talk to him about the financial part of it, how much it's going to cost me, and if I can't afford it, then I need to get a public defender. Okay. Well. At, at this point, uh, your case is set down for the week of July 22nd. Uh, you, you're going to have to make those arrangements uh, from where you're sitting right now. Because uh, okay. you're on a no bond uh, hold at this point uh, based on two previous uh, non-appearances. Um, so, uh, you, uh, you, you may, you may want to to see what you can do about communicating with Mr. Moon and or making an application to the Public Defender's Office, but it's your responsibility to take care of that. Uh, do you have anybody to assist you on that? Uh, no, Your Honor. Okay. Well, you need to make, as I say, you need, you, you need it's your responsibility to, to get an attorney uh, and uh, the, the uh, you know, as I say, I, th I think you have telephone available to call uh, Mr. Moon's office and make make an appointment if you wish, but so or make some arrangements if you wish. But uh, that's that's where you're going to stay there uh, with two alias warrants having been issued on 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 the time this case has been open. Uh, we're going to try to keep that July 22nd trial date uh, down, so there won't be a continuance of the case. You need you need to get busy and get an attorney. Uh, if you can't afford an attorney, then you have the right to apply to the public defender's office. Those applications are there at at the jail, uh, and. Uh, you can fill one out, sign it, turn it in, and then it'll, it'll get to the public defender's office. So that's that's your status as of right now. All right. All right. Thank you. You may be excused. 
2018-171, Loretta Montgomery. This is actually a Division Three revocation <coughs> rather than a review. Okay. So that's why I wasn't recognizing the name immediately. the appointment of the Public Defender's Office to represent Ms. Montgomery. Uh, Excuse me, I'm filled out a Public Defender program. I, I just signed off on it and make that appointment. Oh. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. I'm so sorry. And it appears that you're before the court or <coughs> based on a uh, warrant that was issued pursuant to an amended uh, amended revocation petition. That amended pr probation revocation indicates that uh, there are two grounds for uh, the revocation as listed. The uh, <coughs> primary grounds for the revocation is, is that uh, it's alleged that you violated the law by committing resisting arrest or refusal to submit to arrest, uh, obstructing governmental operations, disorderly conduct, possession of meth, and criminal mischief. Uh, or purposely tampering. It's a, uh, all of these allegations date from uh, an event January 27, 2019, and then the, the possession of meth would violate the term or condition of your probation uh, that requires you not to be in possession of any kind of controlled substance. On that, on those two charges, or those, those allegations contained in the petition, how do you now plead? Not guilty, Your Honor. So I'm putting the not, not, uh, not guilty or not true uh, notation on this and setting it uh, for, for a revocation hearing in front of Judge Putman on May 10th. Okay, you may it's not going to be conjoined with the other August 1st or August 20th. No, this, this, this is a completely separate matter, at, at least at this point. If Judge Putman wants to hook it up with the other one, then that's fine. But, at this point, we're just leaving it on. Please. All right, you may be excused. What was my next court date? I'm sorry, I didn't. May 10th, a week from today, in front of Judge Putman to have a, a revocation hearing. So next week? Yes, ma'am.
Inland Waste Solutions works diligently to be good stewards of the environment. Reducing waste via curbside recycling services, Inland Waste Solutions takes this mission seriously, but they need your help. When putting your waste and recyclables in their respective curbside containers, be sure that cross-contamination doesn't occur. Please only place recyclable materials in the yellow top bins. Check your recycling do's and don'ts list before you throw any item into the yellow top recycle bin. Together we can make a difference. Inland Waste Solutions, local people serving local people in Harrison. Whether you're hunting, fishing, or tailgating, Clay Maxi Ford has you covered. That's right, near or far, when it comes to getting you where you want to go, America's best-selling truck, the F-150, is up to the challenge. You can depend on our vehicles, our prices, and most importantly, our people. So come see us today at Clay Maxi Ford in Harrison and in Berryville. Or visit us online at ClayMaxiFord.com and ClayMaxiFordBerryville.com. Two thousand nineteen dash one ninety six, State of Arkansas versus Ellen McGee. McGee, boy. Yes, sir. Court is appointing the public defender's office to represent Miss McGehee. Uh, this is for plea and arraignment today on charges of possession of a controlled substance, methamphetamine or cocaine, possession of controlled substance, marijuana, and harassment. The latter two are misdemeanors. The former is a Class D felony. On those charges, how does the defendant now plead? Not guilty, Your Honor. Plea of not guilty is noted. The case is on the Division Four docket and will be set for trial during the week of uh, September 3rd. Uh, and uh, the defendant will be ordered to reappear on August 2nd. Anything else to come before the court? Not at this time, Your Honor. All right. You so, may be excused. Yes, sir. So I'll make sure it's August 2nd? August 2nd. Thank you. 2019-192, State of Arkansas versus uh, Julia Arnold. This I have this down for arraignment today on charges of burglary, commercial burglary, Class C felony, breaking or entering, Class D felony, and theft of property, a Class D felony. On those charges, how does the defendant now plead? Not guilty, Your Honor. Case is set by scheduling order for trial during the week of uh, September 3rd with a reappearance ordered for uh, August 2nd. It's your responsibility to keep up with those dates and be here on those dates. It is also by that scheduling order, your order to get in touch and stay in touch with your court appointed attorney. Uh, uh, the way you do that is contact the, the public defender's office by phone, set up an appointment and then because Mr. Burnett doesn't live in this county, so he's only over here on certain days. So you'll need to make an appointment. You won't be able to just drop in or catch him by phone. So you need to you need to contact the office, make an appointment, and then keep the appointment. All right? Yes, and you need to do that just as soon as possible so he can get working on your case. Yes, sir. All right? You may be excused. 2019-178, State of Arkansas versus Chase Bailey. Mm -hmm. 
Mr. Bailey, your case uh, shows for uh, arraignment today. Have you made any arrangements to be represented by an attorney? No, sir. Okay. Here's the situation. You have a constitutional right to an attorney, and what that constitutional right means that you have the attorney, you have the right to go out and hire the attorney of your choice. Courts don't even get involved in it because that's just your right. It's up to you to go out and find the attorney you want to represent you and hire that attorney. Okay. So that's, that's how it works. If you cannot afford to hire an attorney and you determine that, uh, you're still <coughs> entitled to be represented by an attorney and the court uh, will appoint you an attorney. But you have to identify to the court that you uh, need appointed counsel. You do that by filling out an application for the public defender's office. Uh, those applications are here in the courtroom today and if you're going to go that route, then I want you to get an application and fill it out and sign it and turn it in before you leave here today. All right. Okay. Now, you're being arraigned on charges of uh, possession of controlled substance, methamphetamine or cocaine, uh, which is a class D felony, and then criminal mischief in the second degree, which is a class B misdemeanor. On those charges, how do you now plead? Not guilty. I'm noting your plea of not guilty. Uh, I, I, do you know what you're going to do uh, in terms of uh, seeking an attorney? Uh, probably public so defender. Okay. Well, as I said, I want you to. I'm noting that you're going to be applying, and I want you to start filling out the form right today and and turn it in before you leave here. Okay. Um, now, your case is already. Uh, we've got it on a scheduling order already. Uh, and we're setting your case for, for trial during the week of September 3rd and ordering you to re return on uh, July 19th. And then I'm going to put you down to reappear on May 31st just to check the attorney status. Make sure you filled out the application and got the attorney appointed. If possible, it'd be even better if you can make an appointment and get in to see him before that May 31st date. Okay. All right? All right. You may be excused at this time. Thanks, sir. 2019-124, State of Arkansas versus Stephen Mullinex. <coughs> Mr. Mullinex, my understanding is you were uh, filling out an application for the public defender's office. Huh? Okay, so you got one. All right, thank you. The court's going to make the appointment of the public defender's office to represent Mr. Mullinex. This matter, I have this matter down for plea and arraignment today. Judge, we'd waive a formal reading of the charges in her plea of not guilty. <coughs> the charges are aggravated assault, a class D felony, and terroristic threatening, a class D felony. Uh, public Defender's Office is appointed. Uh, plea of not guilty is noted on the record. The court is setting this on the uh, its trial schedule for the the week of September 3rd with a reappearance of the defendant uh, ordered for August 2nd. Very well. All right. If, if there's nothing else to be brought up, then the defendant may be excused. Oh, I'm sorry. Wait a minute. Do we do it another? Yeah. Okay. We got a scheduling order that was entered earlier, so uh, never mind. I've, I've jumped the gun on that. All right, it's uh, August 5th, the week of August 5th is the, is the scheduling for trial and uh, defendant is ordered to reappear on May 31st. All right, so the, you should be able to get from the lady over here, she should be able to give you a, a, those dates in writing, all right? You may be excused, sir. Court's gonna call 2018-325. State of Arkansas versus Adam. 
Adam Ballard, 2016-80, uh, the same defendant, Adam Ballard. Case 2018-325, this was in a pretrial appearance here today. Are there any pretrial motions to be taken up? Uh, Your Honor, I'm standing in for Mr. Burnett on this one. Um, I haven't been made aware of any pretrial motions. All right. The case is set during the week of June 3rd. His next appearance is ordered for May 31st. Okay. Now, let me check the... <coughs> but it's apparently a revocation case. Are you gonna screen it? Yeah. Okay. Oh, possibly. Okay, then you pass case. Okay. What was the question mark? Actually, I had it down for today for the schedule for a revocation hearing. I'm, I guess I'll, cl I'll continue that, that hearing uh, because of Mr. Burnett's absence to the May 31st. Hearings reset on May 31st. I would leave the 60 days if it's a problem okay. for Mr. Burnett. He's out on his own recognizance right now. All right. You may be excused. Thanks, sir. <laughs>in at White Oak Station on Caps Road in Harrison and fill up with Shell Gasoline, the highest quality gasoline with more miles per gallon, saving you money. Sign up for the Fuel Rewards card and save five cents per gallon every time. Plus, get an extra five cents off on Razorback Wednesdays. That's a savings of ten cents per gallon. Check out their expanded deli and hot and cold food items. Caps Road, White Oak Station, where customer service is their number one goal. Two thousand eighteen one seventy six, State of Arkansas versus Richard Burrell. Judge, we're gonna plead two cases with Mr. Burrell today, but I need to do some papers if we could recall him okay. a little later. Mr. Burrell, we're gonna call your case uh, later, uh, probably in this afternoon. So if you just have a seat, we'll we'll get to you as quickly as we can. Judge, could I call one more out of order? Okay. Uh, Tyler Thompson, he's on page six, Judge. This is, a, this is a final appearance today. He's set for jury trial next week. We've resolved the matter. Um, it's, I, think, I can't remember if I said this already. It's an appeal from district court on a couple of tickets. Um, and the state's going to knock us but there's been a complication with some matters that happened in district court. And so before I can do that, I need to figure out how to resolve those and I haven't had a chance to do that. So what I would propose is remove it from the docket today and reset it to May 31st to give me a chance to get all that worked out before we finish it up. All right. Let me get there. So we are continuing the continuing the trial from uh, uh, May uh, 6th.
from the week of May 6th to uh, to the week of June 3rd. That would be fine. And Judge, if the court's all right with this, um, if I can get the matter resolved, I'll knock cross by order and then uh, allow tell Mr. Thompson he doesn't have to come on the 31st, if that's all right. All right. And then I'm setting it down for reappearance on May 31st for the entry of this plea, but as uh, or the resolution of the case. But as, as you've indicated, it could be done by paperwork only. All right? All right. So, so Mr. Uh, Thompson, you're excused. You need to reappear on May 31st unless you learn otherwise that your case has already been disposed of. Okay. Thank you, Your All Honor. Right. You may be excused I'll today. To right. 2018-16, 2018-384, State of Arkansas versus uh, Michael Enix. Judge, Mr. Enix is with us today. As the, as the docket reflects, there are two cases, one that I represent Mr. Enix privately, and then Mr. Burnett represents him in the other case through the Public Defender's Office. We have had a unique situation arise, to, make, to, to say it mildly. The court authorized Mr. Enix to participate in some rehabilitation a few months ago. Yes, sir. That didn't go well. His time there uh, netted him some additional time at Baxter Regional Medical Center uh, in, in a situation to deal with some fairly significant mental health issues that he has had arise. So in discussions with the state as to my case, we filed a motion believing that under the law, if he has some issues prior to sentencing mental health wise, we can ask for an evaluation. Mr. Burnett has filed one in his case, and in my discussions with, with the state, we thought this was probably the best way to go for right now. I have been able to get his medical records from Baxter Regional. I provided those to the state today. As far as how we go from here, I assume then the forensic gets scheduled and we yes. kind, of, kind of keep... I think Court can have reflected an order had been filed. So we'll just have to make sure the petition's filed also. Okay. I'll ensure that that happens. But we can, right. we can get that submitted once we have the petition. An order was submitted to me on the queue, and I've signed right. them in both cases. Very well. I believe. Sure. Does the court want to set a reappearance date in June for, for tracking purposes, or what would be best? Just based on my past experience, I think probably I want to set it um, uh, July 12th. 720. Very well. A reappearance of date will be July 12th. Uh, and that's just to track it and make sure the, that the, the scheduling on the evaluation takes place and, or is taking place because it's unlikely in two months it's going to be done. It's going to be completed. So. Very well. All right. Thank you, Your Honor. You may be excused, Mr. In, Enix. In your honor, that's all I have. May I be excused? You may be excused. Thank you, Judge. 2018-346, uh, State of Arkansas versus Erica Everson. This matter was down for a, a trial the week of, um, of uh, June 3rd. Uh, this was to be the final hearing. Are there, are there any issues to take up today? Judge, I'm pretty sure that Burnett and I talked about this and that we have a plea. Um, but I don't have the papers. I can draw those up today or we can reset it for when Ben's actually here. Just however the court wants to do it, I'm fine. And put it down for May 31st. Okay, that'll be fine. All right. Okay, you may be excused until May 31st, but get in touch with Mr. Burnett uh, yes. through the Public Defender's Office immediately. Okay, right. yeah, thank you. Right. 2019-68, 2019-69, State of Arkansas versus Richard Farmer.
Both these cases are scheduled for trial during the week of August 5th. This was their reappearance date. Um, we're just crowding things up, but anyway. I'll, I'll put them down for May, May 31st, for reappearance on May 31st, unless y'all have something all ready to go. I, I made an offer a while ago, but I haven't heard anything. So. All right. I'll put it down for May 31st. Okay. Your Honor, we don't have anything worked out at this time. All right. Very well. Reappear on May 31st. This, in your trial, your, the trial of your case is set off in August, the week of August 5th. But when when he gets back, you need to make sure you get in touch with Mr. Burnett and, and well in advance of that May 31st day. All right, you may be excused. 2019-209, State of Arkansas versus Randy Ford. that the case is for for arraignment on charges of failure to register here's two counts both class C felony I've just approved uh, uh, appointing the public defender's office to represent you uh, mr. Ford uh, on the charges of failing to register uh, two counts how's the defendant now please not guilty your honor of not guilty as noted this is on judge putman's docket i'm ordering the defendant to reappear on may may 10th that's a week from today in front of judge putman to get on his scheduling order okay judge, Thank you. just to let everybody know there is a revocation that's going to be coming in two cases and both of those cases are division four mm -hmm. so if you we can either transfer this now or we can wait there it's not actually been filed yet but it's coming yeah yeah we i we re we regularly combine those, so this case is on his docket. I, I mean, I I guess I could I could take it over. I'll uh, why don't we just do that? That'll that'll save the hassle. Let's transfer this case 2019-209 to Division Four. I'll set it down. I'm going to set it down for trial during the week of uh, September third and order him to reappear on August 2nd, all right? Okay. Now, the public defender's office, it'll be Mr. Burnett because of that appointment, or, or Mr. Reese. I'm not sure how they work that out, but it'll be Mr. Burnett. You need, you need to get the, the phone number, when go over here and get a, a, a slip that tells you when to reappear. It'll have the phone number of the public defender's office. Call that number. Uh, and make an appointment to see Mr. Burnett, all right? Yes, sir. All right, yes, you sir. may be excused. Thank you. Your Your next ordered appearance in court is August 2nd, all right? August 2nd, okay. <laughs> Sullivan Pharmacy has been serving your prescription needs for over 40 years. Our professional staff is glad to assist you with prescriptions, over-the-counter medicines, and health care products. Stop by Sullivan Pharmacy if you have questions about Medicare Part D, and we'll be glad to help. If you're in a hurry, use our convenient drive through window so you don't have to get out of your car. Sullivan Pharmacy, 731 North Main Street in Harrison, helping you feel better since 1965. Plants, plants, and more plants. That's what you'll find at Camps Plants in Harrison. Perennials, annuals, ferns, hanging baskets, shrubs, roses, decorative trees, and the largest selection of garden vegetables in the area. With different varieties arriving weekly, you're sure to find your perfect plant, shrub, or tree at the best price in the area. 
Camps Plants. In business for over 35 years in Harrison. 2018-282 State of Arkansas versus uh, Leland Gregory. There's nothing from discussion with Mr. Burnett about any action today. There's, it was down for pretrial today. That's the only reason I asked. Uh, there was not, Your Honor. All right. Mr. Gregory, your next appearance in court is May 31st. You need to be in touch with Mr. Burnett between now and then and uh, appear on May 31st. All yes, right? Sir. Yes, Your Honor. You may, you may be excused. Thank you. 2019-62, State of Arkansas versus Caleb Goldsby. This case is scheduled for trial during the week of August 5th. This was to be the pretrial hearing date. Uh, Mr. Goldsby, have you been in touch with your attorney? Uh, no, I didn't know if I got accepted for him or not. I'm sorry? Uh, uh, when I came here last, I got told to come here. It wasn't my court date, but I applied. I'm not sure if I got accepted or not. I've come twice. If you put in an application, it was approved. Or I, uh, I'm pretty sure. It, we do it's represent. listed here that you're, 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 Mr. Burnett is your attorney. Okay. Now that the court has scheduled this by scheduling order, and uh, uh, that scheduling order ordered you to get in to see him. So uh, when you when you walk away from here, go over to that desk, and that young lady over there will give you a you know uh, will give you a form saying that you're supposed to be back here on uh, August 5th. I'm going to put you down for May 31st uh, to reappear so that I make sure that you're in touch with, I want you between now and May 31st to get in to see Mr. Burnett. Uh, and, and, you know, we'll, we'll, uh, I want this case moving forward. So, and, that, and that's crucial. You are ordered to get to him. He's so busy and has so many appointments and he lives elsewhere in this judicial district. I live in that, Louisiana. Uh, well, you know, it's it's up to you to get in to see him. He doesn't, ha it's not his responsibility to track you down. It's, I'm ordering you to track him down, get, make an appointment, and either get in to see him or, or do it, do an interview by phone. Uh, but it, it, you're going to have, you can't just call up and he's sitting in the office yeah. because he's not sitting in the office. He's in court someplace every single day. So it's you've got to get in touch with him yes, sir. and make those arrangements. All right? Yes, sir. You may be excused. 2018-88, State of Arkansas versus Paul Hendricks. docket reflects here that there's a pending evaluation. Let me see where we are.
Does the public defender's office receive any notice of when the, when the evaluation interview is scheduled? It was asked for last October and I'm reviewing February. It, it was still pending. He, I'm pretty sure he had his evaluation. We're just waiting on the report. I've, I've set it down in March. I set it down because we, to check the status of the evaluation <coughs> for today. That's okay. what we're here for. What I talked to the doctor um, two days ago. Their policies have changed. It's a much longer procedure now. But she told me that if you would order her to give you the reports, she would gladly do it. Um, but otherwise, their new process is, is she has to send the reports to Little Rock, and they have to go through several different departments before they will ever be sent back to us. Their process has just became a much longer process. They call it a quality control process. Yes. <laughs> but she said the, her, his report and Mr. Smith's reports are done, and she would happily provide them to you if you would order her to do so. All right. Well, I'll take that up separately. Thank you. All right, so the, we're at this point we have a pending evaluation report. Um, I'm going to set this matter down um, I want you to reappear on June 21st. All right? Yes, sir. And uh, so put him down to uh, June 21st if we get uh, reports uh, prior to that date, um, I may I may add to the I mean I may schedule other dates, but right now I'm just do June 21st to to because uh, we're going to have to put him back and, and the, a lot of time expired back in 2018 before the evaluations were even sought. So I, 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 well, let me no, let me do because of that I need to put him. He's to reappear on May tw uh, 31st. Okay, come back on May 31st, and, yes, and uh, uh, we'll we'll see where we are at that point. You may be excused. 2018-306, State of Arkansas versus uh, Christine Johnson. Christine Johnson. Another case is set for trial during the week of well, June 3rd. Uh, a reappearance is ordered for May 31st already. Uh, anything to take up today? Uh, no, Your Honor. Okay. All right. You may be excused. And, um, make, make sure you communicate with the Public Defender's Office and get in to see Mr. Burnett be back here on May 31st. All right, thank All you. Court on TKOA Television is brought to you in part by Campbell Bonding Company. Even the best of us make mistakes, so when trouble finds you, trust Campbell Bonding Company to help you through what can be a confusing and sometimes frightening experience. Jim, Robert, and Cole Campbell work as a family to offer your family understanding and compassion during a very difficult time. Campbell Bonding Company can help get your family back together quickly and confidentially. And in every step of the process, they're there for you. In times of trouble, let their family help your family. Campbell Bonding Company, 870-741-1138. Whether you're hunting, fishing, or tailgating, Clay Maxi Ford has you covered. That's right, near or far, when it comes to getting you where you want to go, America's best-selling truck, the F-150, is up to the challenge. You can depend on our vehicles, our prices, and most importantly, our people. So come see us today at Clay Maxi Ford in Harrison and in Berryville. 
or visit us online at ClayMaxiFord.com and ClayMaxiFordBariable.com. Hamilton Burger takes on MeTV's number one attorney, Perry Mason. You any objection, Mr. Burger? I object. Objection. I object. Overruled. Will Hamilton Burger ever beat Perry Mason? Don't bet on it.